Years after the Atlanta public school cheating scandal broke, two educators are finally in jail tonight. Tamara Johnson and Angela Williamson turned themselves into the Fulton County Jail tonight. Both of them were convicted of racketeering in connection with the standardized cheating scandal. Yeah, but not everyone's happy that they're finally facing punishment. Fox News Angelique Proctor joins us live with the story. Angelique. Sine Tamara Cotman Johnson was indicted. She was tried and convicted. She appealed her conviction. She did not win any of those appeals. She even tried to take this case to the U.S. Supreme Court. They declined to hear her case. But despite all of that, she maintains her innocence. And she went into the Fulton County Jail about an hour and a half ago with tears in her eyes. It was the long dreaded walk for educator Tamara Cotman Johnson. Johnson and former APS teacher Angela Williamson, seen earlier, finally closed the cheating scandal chapter by reporting to the Fulton County Jail Tuesday on a racketeering conviction, then on to state prison. Flanked by supporters, convicted former administrator Cotman Johnson still professes her innocence. I do want people to know that um, I'm going into prison with the reality that not a single person that worked under my direct supervision was ever charged. Every principal that worked with me was cleared. Yeah, I was convicted of racketeering. My, my. Cotman Johnson and former teacher Shawnee Robinson, whose case is still being appealed, called the APS trial a farce that did not have the children or justice in mind. The whole case was built on innumerable instances of wrongdoing and unfairness that all together amount to a travesty of justice. Community leaders who concede cheating did go on believe there were other alternatives to prison. They call on Fulton County DA Paul Howard and retired Superior Court Judge Jerry Baxter to temper justice with mercy. They could have been fined. They could have been suspended. Teachers to educate those. There could have been probation. There could have been even a revoking of the teaching license. And at the end of the day, Judge Baxter mm. and uh, Paul Howard sacrificed these teachers at the altar of a, uh, a national movement uh, that many of us believe that has as its basis charter schools.